Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Novi and for this time, aaralin natin kung paano ba ang MDAS rule. Paano nga ba ito gamitin ng tama? Pero before tayo magpatuloy, please huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago kong videos. Ang lesson na ito ay for Actually, for elementary, pero marami pa rin sa atin ang nagkakamaling gamitin ito. Lalo na pag yung operations natin ay nagkahalo-halo na. Okay? Napaka-simple pero minsan mahirap gawin. So, umpisahan na natin. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng MDAS? MDAS stands for multiplication, B for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Okay? Paano nga ba natin ipaperform ang MDAS rule? Hindi naman ibig sabihin na dahil MDAS na siya, kailang, kailangang mauuna si multiplication, isunod si division, kasunod si addition, at kasunod si subtraction. Hindi yun ang ibig sabihin ng MDAS. Okay? So, ito, multiplication or division first, and then addition or subtraction last. And take note of this, we have to follow the order from left to right. Okay? So, kung ano man yung nauuna from left to right kay multiplication or division, yun yung uunahin mo. Then, afterwards, ganun din kay addition or and subtraction. So, kung alin ang nauna sa kanila, yun yung uunahin mong i-perform. Basta, from left to right yung order ng operations natin. Okay? So, simulan natin sa example number 1. 7 times 4 divided by 2 plus 13 minus 2. We are very lucky in this example kasi naka MDAS format na siya. Hindi mo na pro-problemahin kung alin yung uunahin mo kasi nga Multiplication ang nauna, sumunod si division, si addition, at saka last si subtraction. So, i-perform muna lang siya. So, unahin natin 7 times 4. So, again, from left to right. Kaya dito tayo mag-uumpisa. 7 times 4 is equal to 28. And then, copy the rest, yung mga hindi pa nagagamit na operation and numbers. So, 28 divided by 2 plus 13 minus 2. Next, sunod natin si division. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Copy again, plus 13 minus 2. 14 plus 13 is 27. Minus 2, that is 25. Ito na yung final answer natin. Okay, diba? Madali lang pag ganyan. How about if we have this example? 21 plus 3 minus 10 divided by 5 times 2. Okay, dito, ang operation na nauna is addition followed by subtraction, followed by division, and then last is multiplication. So, ano nga ba ang gagawin natin? Ayan. Since nauna dito si division, yan yung unahin natin i-perform. Okay? So, 10 divided by 5 is... 2. And then, copy the rest, yung hindi pa nagagamit na operations at saka numbers. Isunod na natin si multiplication. Ito, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then, copy again the rest. Tapos, mag-proceed na tayo sa addition or subtraction. Since nauna naman si addition, de, de, ito na yung i-perform natin. 21 plus 3 is equal to 24 minus 4 that is equal to 20. Wag mong gagawin itong Wag mong gagawin ito. Ito, itong susunod na ipapakita ko kasi magiging mali na yung sagot mo. What if inuna natin yung multiplication kasi na MDAS, di ba? Yun yung alam natin. Yun yung alam ng iba. Okay, paano pag inuna natin si multiplication? Tignan natin yung sagot kung magiging parehas ba. So, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And then, copy the rest. 21 plus 3 minus 10 divided by the answer. Okay. So, ito na ngayon. 
Then, mag-divide na tayo. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. Then, copy. To 21 plus 3 is equal to 24. Minus 1 is equal to 23. Parehas ba yung sagot? O di ba hindi na? Kaya, hindi advisable na ganun ang gagawin mo. Kasi maling-mali na talaga yung sagot mo. Okay? So, ang tamang procedure ay itong nasa left. Huwag mong gagawin itong nasa right. Nakuha? So, 20 is the correct answer. 23 is wrong. Now, let's proceed to example number 3. 4 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 3 times 2. Since dito nauna na si division, unahin na natin siya. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Copy the rest. And 4 plus 2 minus 3 times 2. Isunod natin si 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And then copy. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Minus 6, that is equal to 0. Okay? This is our final answer. Nakuha ba kung paano gamitin ang MDAS rule ng tama? Okay, tignan natin. Malalaman natin kung nakuha nyo ba ang tamang paraan sa pamamagitan ng isang short quiz. So, dito, malalaman natin kung meron talaga kayong naintindihan. Okay? So, let's try some problems. I'll give you 17 seconds for each problem. Then, afterwards, ipapakita ko na yung sagot. So, kayo kung gusto nyong sumabay, sabayan nyo ako sa pagsagot ng mga problems. Okay? Para din malaman ninyo kung naintindihan nyo talaga yung lesson. So, number 1. 64 divided by 8 times 3 minus 19. 17 seconds starts now. Okay, what's your final answer? That is 5. Paano? Tignan natin. 8 times 3 or 64 divided by 8 is equal to 8. Then copy the rest times 3 minus 19. 8 times 3 is 24 minus 19. That is equal to 5. Nakuha? Okay, next. 16 minus 2 plus 1 times 35 divided by 5. Your timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer in this problem? The answer is equal to 21. Paano? Tignan natin. So, dito unahin natin si multiplication. 1 times 35 is 35. Copy the rest. Then, 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. Copy. 16 minus 2 is equal to 14 plus 7. That is equal to 21. Parehas? Okay, parehas. Next. 50 minus 5 times 2 plus 27 divided by 3. 17 seconds starts now. Okay, time's up. The final answer here is... Tignan natin kung tama kayo ng sagot or tama ang inyong mga sagot. 49. Paano? 20, uh, 5 times 2 is 10. 
Then, sunod natin si division. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. Plus 9, that is 49. Parehas? Ba sa sagot ninyo? Okay, very good. For the last one, 11 minus 5 plus 1 plus 3 times 4 divided by 6. Timer starts now. And then, the final answer, let's check. That is equal to 9. Okay, paano ulit? 9 natin si multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12. Ito na yan. Then, 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. Simplify, 11 minus 5 is 6. Then, plus 1 plus 2, that is 9. Okay? Okay. Na-perfect nyo ba? Very good. Kung na-perfect nyo, congratulations. Kung hindi naman, siguro meron lang konting pagkakamali. Ulitin nyo lang, practice makes perfect. Okay? Don't give up. Lahat merong solusyon. Okay, so that's it para sa MDAS rule. I hope meron kayong natutunan sa lesson natin ngayon. Huwag mong kalimutang i-like ang video na to. Mag-subscribe ka na rin kung hindi ka pa subscribe. And then, i-click mo ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago kong videos. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you and God bless everyone. Bye-bye!